there's a market out there that you probably have never heard of that's expected to grow to over $700 million by 2031, which is actually not as far away as you'd think. I know that sounds crazy, but what I'm gonna show you in this video is this whole market, but also a particular e-commerce business that is doing some really innovative things in this market so that you can get inspired for your business. So let's get right into it. The market I'm talking about is the water infuser market. Now, why are we talking about it? Well, because actually I found this store that inspired me researching this market. That's usually how these things go. I find something that's interesting and then I fall down a rabbit hole of research and then I share it here on YouTube. So basically what I found is this store called Bello, which is a pretty cool name and a really, really, really clean store. And what they do is they sell this premium wellness beverage dispenser that allows you to infuse your water yourself. So it's very similar to the premise of I guess something like a Keurig machine, but as opposed to using these plastic little coffee cups, right? What you do is you put in a little fruit infuser, I guess, something like that. Here, let me scroll down further. And uh, it basically makes your water infused with all these vitamins and whatnot that is in fruit. So you can buy these cups, right? And they have vitamins. This one's ginger and sea salt, that's pretty cool. Uh, a mango turmeric lime one. So these are kind of like wellness drinks that you can make. Now let's see, for $8, you get 18 cups. Um, now that's pretty awesome. So literally the same concept as Keurig, but they made it more aesthetically pleasing and specifically for water infusing. So that's why this is important, right? Because this is a market that's gonna continue to grow and we know how big Keurig is, right? Let's look it up. Keurig uh, valuation. And we can see there, oh, okay, so Keurig Dr. Pepper, I guess Keurig, let's look up Keurig Coffee valuation, and oh, it's still <laughs> owned by Dr. Pepper, so we don't know, but you know, the company, the parent company is worth 14 billion, you know, they're getting into that market. Now, obviously coffee is a massive market, water infusion is nowhere near that amount of money, but it's actually getting there, right? And I think more and more people are starting to realize um, obviously how important hydration is, but also opting out of these like sodas um, and trying to be healthier. I think health is on the rise, um, at least, well, I don't know, honestly, it's kind of hard to say because obesity is also on the rise, right? So like, who's gonna win? We'll see. But ultimately, you can find a lot of really interesting products in this category, like things like this, where you can infuse uh, your water with tea, products like this that allow you to hide, it's like, this. these are weird, this is actually a common winning product, it's basically a hydrogen infuser for your water. The studies on that are pretty, you know, esoteric, I would say, like it's not really very proven that that does anything, but a lot of people are very interested in these kinds of products for sure, and it's high average order value, which is great. Now, again, these guys are doing something totally different that I think is very innovative within the niche, and I think it's really interesting when I find innovations that are basically just combining two you know, trends that have already been proven, right? So they're combining water infusion, which is a massive niche, and this Keurig method of dispensing a drink, right? In their case, it's coffee, but in this case, it's water infusions. Combining those two and driving innovation. I think it's super interesting when that happens. Now, this brand, I'm not exactly sure how big they are, I found some more data here on them. They have about 11 to 50, I guess, people on their team. They've raised over a million dollars in funding, so they are funded, and I mean, yeah, that's a lot of money, right? <laughs> over a million dollars of funding, but they started pretty small, actually, so they first raised 20,000 from a grant, and then, you know, from private equity, they also raised an undisclosed amount back in 2020. This was like the seed round. And then they raised uh, 1.5 million Canadian from Alien Investments and two other investors. So I guess these guys are doing some sort of, um, you know, private equity investing or venture capital investing. This is stuff I like to learn about because uh, I'm not planning to raise any money, but it's always good to have that opportunity if you have something big you want to build. And more and more, you know, obviously I make these videos about e-commerce, but more and more I'm trying to think of bigger businesses, bigger impacts that I can have and obviously access to capital would be pretty convenient in those things though. I'm building my own capital creation machine, right? Like that's what a Kemi um, and my business is. It's basically just a cash machine that I can 
basically draw, you know, it's like a venture ATM that is used for my own personal use and also for whatever I want to invest in, right? Because I think there's a lot of ideas like this that are super cool. And maybe some of you guys have ideas like this that, you know, maybe you just don't have the experience, capital or team to pull it off, but I do, right? Maybe we can combine forces and build something awesome. But ultimately, I think this is a genius brand, not only because of what, how, well, first of all, they designed the product really well. It looks cool. They're going into a category that's really unique, but also the recurring revenue aspect of it, I think is just brilliant, right? Like if people really like this product, they'll be a customer for a long, long time and they'll be buying these little pods forever, basically, which is a long time. And again, that's what makes a business super valuable. So if these guys can effectively grow, which I think they can, especially if they implement some simple strategies like running machine learning paid ads on Meta, TikTok, Google, maybe some creators, some influencers, and maybe get on TikTok shop and Amazon, then I don't see why these guys can't build a multi nine figure business, right? And at least get to that point in enterprise value. Maybe they don't need to be super profitable. That's also what I'm learning is that you don't need to be profitable in order to build massive enterprise value. And in fact, when it comes to e-commerce, most of the biggest e-commerce brands are actually the least profitable. And I find that to be a really, really interesting phenomenon. And you know, one of the reasons why I've also realized that a lot of venture capital and private equity businesses look at e-commerce as one of the toughest, like physical product e-commerce is one of the toughest businesses that you could start and one of the toughest businesses to turn a profit on, therefore one of the toughest businesses to potentially invest into. Um, a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of mumbo jumbo I just gave you, but ultimately this is a cool store, really cool niche. The water infuser market is massive. Definitely look into starting a business in it if you like the market, if it, you find it interesting. Um, and it doesn't have to be so complicated and, and you know technologically innovative. It can literally be something as easy and simple as an aesthetically pleasing water pitcher that you can infuse with fruit. I actually like that idea. I think that's a cool idea. Um, I would buy that, right? If I could have a really nice water pitcher that I could leave in my fridge that holds a lot of water that I can infuse with some fruits for just natural electrolytes, that'd be pretty dope. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. That's about it. I found this actually uh, this store initially through the Akemilab Accelerator research. You can join that in the description. There's a wait list. You'll have to have a call with our team in order to join. And yeah, if you're interested, make sure you check that out. The Accelerator is going to be a massive, massive thing where we'll build businesses just like this through you guys and with you guys. So that's about it. Peace.